Hello everyone. I just recorded a long journey across the moon in this rover and my mic was off. I really wish that there would be like a giant flashing mute button on my screen or something. Well, either way, um, I was going to tell you my opinions about the new mod and how it affects rovers. Uh, in short, a lot of the things are on the surface very, very nice. Uh, shocks have been radically improved. Structures now react more forgivingly at four times acceleration. Uh, so in theory, you can build much nicer rovers than you used to be able to. In practice, however, they've made SAS cripplingly overpowered, um, and it won't let you turn. If you go up a hill, it will never actually let the front of your vehicle ever come back down. Uh, and to, to show you what I mean, I'm going to switch over into docking mode and, uh, and move forward a little bit. And you can see I can't turn. And you can moreover see that it doesn't really take up any appreciable percentage of the, uh, of the, uh, um, of the system. And there's also something screwy where I can turn right, but not left. Uh, and it has nothing to do with the fact that I've only got one wing on the back. It happens with every rover. So SAS has been, they've introduced some fun new bugs to it. Uh, so that's going to be annoying. Um, Rovers, in theory, are a lot more useful because you can drive around and find new places to take soil samples. But in practice, you can no longer use them in conjunction with SAS because the SAS will screw you up. Um, and I mean, I suppose you can get really used to doing things like rapidly tapping space and adjusting your trim continuously for the whole trip, but I think that we're just going to wait until the flood of update patches comes out that will repair and tweak the little pieces of behavior that have been bugged. Uh, and if uh, the SAS is still overpowered by the end of that, then we'll have to come out with rover-specific SAS. Um, for now, however, I don't recommend rovers. I recommend virtually any other kind of vehicle. So that's my official recommendation for the new version of Kerbal. It's the only downside to the new version of Kerbal. Uh, it's got so many upsides that you should just get go and play it. Play career mode. It's fantastic. That's it.